What were your parents like? Uh, not, not real strict. Uh, pretty much let us kind of go our own way. Uh, very much old school as far as uh, upbringing is concerned. And my mom was a good cook. <laughs> my dad was a mechanic. We're certainly not rich. I think we were probably poor, but we didn't really know it. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was always food on the table and clothes on my back, and I always had a way to and from school. So it was uh, not much excitement. Are there any important lessons that you learned from your work life? My work life? Other than willing to always be there, not find an excuse to not show up for work. And uh, my main thing is that you have to have something to do that, that you feel is important and, and do as good as you can. I could have uh, many days called in sick, but I felt it was important that I be there and uh, always made a fairly decent living. And uh, so I just feel that if you're being paid to do something, uh, you ought to do it the right way. Are there any important lessons that you've learned from your marriage? Oh, gee. Any lesson I would have learned would be the fact that you just, there's a lot of give and take. You both have to have compromises all the time. If you don't, you know, marriage is not going to survive. Yeah. You have to be able to give and work together on things. How did you feel when you first found out that you were going to be a father? I was very happy. Uh -huh. uh, I was happy all four times that I became a father. And it was a, an experience that most people do like. Some others more than others, but uh, I uh, was very happy and I'm still very happy with the, with the kids and grandkids. Are there any big lessons that your time in the service taught you? But sometimes you don't say what you really are thinking. Yeah. You just eat it. If you say it sometimes, it's going to get you in a, in a pickle. Because they, it's a very authoritarian type of existence, and they have to be in control of your of your mind and your body. And if you rebel against that, you need to be able to to swallow it and not say it. Because once you say it, it's it's over. Yeah. Do you have any favorite memories of me? Favorite memories of you? A lot of favorite memories. Uh, I guess your your athletic abilities are things that I would have liked to have had for myself. <laughs> I uh, I'm kind of living my sports life again through you and enjoying every minute of it.